Kick it! Welcome to Hard Headed Podcast. Hard-headed. We're excited that you've joined us as we have a conversation. It's time to join the conversation. Welcome to Hard Headed Podcast. I'm your host, Chet Sears. And with me to my right is Matt Amos, and to my left is Troy Three Shot Trussell. Oh, bring it back. Troy, uh, we're in Trussell Media Studios in Center Point Building in downtown Wichita, Kansas. I was just in the bathroom, and uh, there's a branding issue with the soap. It's called Healthy Soap. I think that's a little crazy. It's extra healthy. I don't know if it's that. It didn't say extra healthy soap. How'd you like that tile in there? Uh, it needs to... Uh, it needs to, to compete against like clean soap, healthy soap and clean soap. They're going to battle it out for the. I've never understood how you can call soap clean because isn't it always clean? Nah, you have dirty soap. Isn't that dirty how, soap? Isn't that like an oxymoron? Doesn't no, dirty soap ever, go you, down the drain? Before they had uh, like bottles with uh, liquid soap, you had the bar soap. Have you ever been to a uh, like a like a camping uh, shower um, at the lake or oh, at, yeah. a, at a church camp? If you drop that soap, and then you're like, "Dirty soap." Yeah, I'm not using that again. <laughs> yeah, dirty soap. Yeah, I like bar soap. I'm a big fan of bar soap. I've gone back to it. Yeah, I, I use bar I soap use, every use, day of my life. I don't use yeah, but I mean, soap. even at like a sink. Yeah, we're so it's so we're so pathetic. Is a human race. I that, agree. That the soap dispensers we have at our sinks. You don't even now, have to talk about soap dispensers. I just agree. We're they that foam pathetic. themselves. It's like we were not even gonna put in the effort to lather <laughs> our own soap. It's gotta come to us lathered. Okay, I'm sorry. Troy's gonna tell us what's on his mind today. We're gonna talk about the top three ways to spend your Labor Day. So if you know, we're we're at the very end of August, next weekend, Labor Day weekend, and you may not have planned yet, but don't worry. We've got you covered with our top three ways to spend Labor Day. And then uh, Matt's going to close this out with a good word. Troy, what's on your mind? Here's what's been on my mind all week is Google reviews. Okay. Okay. I I had a conversation uh, with someone at work about Google reviews yesterday. So for whatever reason, the past two weeks, people have been talking about Google reviews around me. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I don't know if it's like this. They've been around forever. Right. Why is it the big talk of the town right now? I don't know. I don't either. But I jumped on the wagon. And what'd you start doing? Reviewing things on Google? So I went and, uh, you know, I heard it's a good thing to make sure your Google is in, in order for your business. And I run a business. so Yeah. And it just makes sense. Did you have any reviews? I had only six reviews. Over 10 years of business? Over seven years of business. Yeah. And I think, you know, three out of the six or maybe four out of the six were all about weddings. Yeah. And I shot my last wedding the beginning of this year and I don't plan were on they, it. Were they good reviews? They were all five stars, baby. All uh, all seven? All, all six. six of them were five stars. Yeah. Well, let's see how long that lasts. I got Google. <laughs> <laughs> And I got all kinds of fake emails. Yeah, <laughs> they're real emails, jerks. Jerks. Well, they're real emails, but fake. Yeah. Uh, in the, you just have multiple accounts. Well, I can create as many as I want. That's right. Um, so it's a big thing to people. Yeah, well, it's just come up in my the circles that I'm in uh, for the past two weeks more than once. Well, I, right. I, and when I hear something three to seven times, I'm like, maybe I should look into this. So you're gonna say, Matt. Well, I uh, am pretty notorious for my Google reviews, and um, I never uh, knew that I was notorious for my Google reviews, but you know how I found out? How? Google told me. They sent me an email like uh, probably two weeks ago that said, your reviews are trending on whatever, and it's like, okay, I've left literally two reviews on Google ever. I've done more than that. So and you're not like a local guide? No. I saw somebody had 19. But see, I think that's what it is, is Google's trying to... Encourage you it, to it, post encourage more. Encourage that. They are, yeah. And so that's why they sent that email to me, hey, your your review is trending. And it's like, what? I've, I've literally... One is for people's prosthetics, and I can't remember what the other one's for. Um, yeah. It may be uh, Po' Boy's uh, Pizza um, for their fantastic freaking Killer pizza po roll. Killer Po' Boy pizzas. No, their pizza roll. Oh. Fool. <laughs> dude 
<laughs> I love that pizza roll. It's fantastic. I love it. I got to get me one. You need to go down there. and Dude. Where is it? Tell me. Uh, Lincoln and Oliver. Yeah. Edgemore. Edg- yeah, Lincoln and Edgemore. Yeah. It's good. Going tomorrow. I like sausage. Get extra sauce. Extra sauce. Po' boy with sausage. No, 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 no. Pepperoni. You want I like pepperoni. Not a po' boy. Not a po' boy. Start with pepperoni. Pizza roll. Pizza roll. Pepperoni pizza roll is the one you want to start on. After you try the pepperoni, do whatever you want. I agree with Matt. I'm a huge pepperoni fan anyway. Go go pepperoni. And then two two sauces. Pick two sauces? No, 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 no. Order two. It comes with one sauce. Oh, order say an I extra, need. I want an extra, I need an sauce. extra sauce. Where? What's the name of this place? So po, other people can po go. Po boys. Po boys. But they serve pizza. Just, just go with it's it. It's po boys pizza. Yeah, they have po boys <laughs> too, but it's <laughs> po boys. That, that's debatable. I but if you go with up. Matt, if you <laughs> if you go with Matt, he may not have to pay for his because he's been there since high school, and they know him, and if. And if you happen to work with Matt and you're on this rotation of you alternate who buys lunch, sometimes when you go and it's his time to buy and they're like, oh, you don't have to pay. And then I walk in with him another time and I'm like, I'm buying his lunch. And they're like, yeah, you need to pay for both of them. I'm like, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. It's pretty funny. We we had a uh, we had a Hey, uh, they have a five star rating, four point nine. Yeah, I had, I don't think there's anybody that's been there that said that this is terrible. Oh sorry, four point seven. Three hundred and eighty three Google reviews for Po Boy, Pizza Po Boy. P O Boy. Po. Po Po Boy. Boy. Yeah. It's uh it's good. You need to do it. Um Google reviews matter to small businesses. I don't think like you can you can Google review like Google, like and who who cares about you know Google's like yeah, I don't care about your my score. What is Google score? Do they have a score? I don't know. Let's look. Where would you find Google on Google? What is Google's Google review? Yeah, type type that in there. What is Google's? If they're, they're, if they're for all five stars, they're not honest. They lack integrity. It's not coming up. They're not letting themselves. They're, oh, I don't. I don't trust Google anymore. Anyway, so what are you doing now? Are you encouraging people to uh, like your like your business on Google? Yes, I am. How do you do that? So what I did is I sat down yesterday and I wrote a little blurb, with a little help from Chat GPT, which is nice. Yeah, I'll write blurbs with the link to go leave me a review. And I sat down on my computer and I went through my all my contacts on my phone. Yeah. And I texted 130 people. Yeah. And I went from six in 24 hours to 36. Yeah. So I got 30. Did your score go down? No, it's all five stars. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you got lucky. Yeah. You got lucky. The, uh, the, I, I've, I've dealt with some businesses that small businesses in my career and there, there's a strategy to, um, like if you're a technician in somebody's house, you're working on the roof, whatever roofer, air conditioner guy. And, and like, thank you so much. This is, you, you really helped me out. Then you like drop the, Hey, well, here's a, here's a business card with a, uh, you know, a QR code, go, go leave us a Google review. You know, we'd appreciate it. And then if they're at a home and they're like, man, I hate your guts. This is way too expensive, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, thank you for your business. We'll see you later. <laughs> like they don't, they don't. Like, oh yeah. No. When it's positive, you, you send them the Google review. Did you just, uh, I'm done. You just reviewed him. That's it. That's what I think. That's yeah. what I think about Kirkland water. Did Easy. you just give me a review? It better have been five stars. <laughs> Did you do it really? No. Oh, I was trying to find Google's Google review. Oh, <laughs> It's not out there. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they have that. I, that, I don't trust Google. Well, Never did. But that's just one more reason. All about Google. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, I went just from going through my contacts, contacts, and I texted people that uh, I have created videos for. Yeah, c- clients. Former Cli- clients. Yeah, yeah, former clients. Because I didn't get a text, with the exception. Although of- you have created videos for me. 
Oh, for one of your companies you yeah. worked with. Yeah. yeah. Well, go leave me a review. You didn't text me. All right, I'll do that. Uh, hey, you didn't, hey, save some effort. I'll do it. <laughs> you didn't text me either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you don't work for Matt. Where do we fall on your client list? We should be at we the top. We apparently don't. I've never done videos for you. I did videos that's for exact, your company. That's exactly right. <laughs> I've never I've done uh, videos. Because I, I seem to remember somebody shot a buck when they weren't supposed to shoot one, and uh, I'm still waiting on this. Uh, <laughs> hey, I do some videos. No, but you bad did, review. You hired him at. <laughs> you hired him. Owner you, shot a buck at People's before I got there. You hired him when he was supposed. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, you were the one that hired me for those People's uh, yeah, videos. Yeah, yeah. major. Ma- that's probably your first videos in the biotechnology industry. Probably. Your first biotech videos ever. I yeah. probably didn't text y'all because I am scared Dude, you're going to give you me a low rate. If you don't have biotechnology videos in your uh, repertoire profile, like <laughs> that's a, uh, I may or may not have biotechnology industry in my LinkedIn profile. I may or sure. may not text you the link to give me a Google. Review. I know how to get on Google. <laughs> don't you worry about that. <laughs> Don't you worry about that. I I think it's funny that a majority of the people that go to write reviews do it for bad reasons or to negative comments. Majority are your bad reviews. And uh, yeah. I have made it an effort, genuinely, to to be a little bit more proactive on the good side. And in fact, uh, I was in Dubai several months ago, and. With a with a guy I work with is from Italy, and we were wondering where we're going to eat dinner. He's like, "Hey, but I, there's a great Italian place here, good pizza," it, which is typically, you know, "Hey, you got to listen to listen to this guy." So we went, and it was really good. And the lady was like, hey, "You know, hey, how did everything go?" I was like, "It was really good." And she's like, "We really appreciate it if you left left us a Google review." Very competitive city, right? I mean, as far as there's a large quality quantity of people there. So I, I just I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm yes, and I'm going to do it right now because if I say I'm going to wait later, I'm going to forget. So I, I I logged on right there and said, hey, five stars for this pizza. Right on. I tried Let's to do, do that as well. I try to leave uh, positive reviews and not negative reviews, um, but people tend to write on a negative review. They'll leave you five. People are, are quick to to put hey five stars and then not they don't write, leave they, they don't write comments. Anything. But yeah, typically the negative review comments they leave Always enough words have something written to prove how much of an idiot they are. So, <laughs> most of the time, sometimes. Yeah, but I, I do like the algorithm that puts a good one next to a bad one, so you at least have a, a combination instead of just all of a sudden hey just one star is the most because it's most words or yeah viewed the most times it's not you know the most prevalent review that you see right so. or or like dumb stuff and we're getting in amazon reviews here but like <laughs> here you can go buy this <laughs> this uh um, you know polo for two dollars and then it's like i'm giving it one star because it smells like it was made in bangladesh and it didn't come out until i washed it i'm like well don't give it one star for that idiot but they do like people do that. See, I, I, I try to check the legitimacy of people's one stars. Um, it, ah. just even on a professional level, like, uh, because, um, the, the company I work for, I think prosthetic wise, we have the lowest Google rating in town and we have the, we have the absolute best service. There's no ifs, ands or buts about that. It's just, it's kind of funny to me. So then I yeah, go, but you all, I go see these people, you know, so if, if there's a one star review and then it's like, uh, you know, um, I didn't get the product I, I thought I was going to get. I was like, well, your doctor is the one who ordered it. Yeah, so yeah. It's not that, like we have any control over that. But one of the other things I agree with people's, and it's the, when I was there, I, I loved it. The the fact that you also stand up to crap, you know? So if somebody's coming in there talking all whatever, and you just lay some truth bombs on them, and yeah. then they get upset about it. And I look at that as a good service, but some hey, people don't like to hear some, the truth. Yeah, sometimes you just need it. Yeah. But it, it, so if somebody does leave one of those, I, I go back and I'm like, okay, what other reviews have, has this person written? Because you can go and click on their name and then see the reviews that they've yeah. written and be like, oh, okay, this person is stupid. Or, you know, hey, maybe, maybe we really did screw up. What did, what did we do wrong here? And how can we rectify the situation instead of, you know? I called, I had to call somebody that did that when I was there. And I think they owed us money on top of that. Like, yeah, it's not cool. Don't don't go blasting stuff on the internet when we got stuff on you. <laughs> like, <laughs> Pay your bill. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, sorry we took that and we hijacked your Admiral Pennant four point eight. Better than Trussell Media. I thought you were four point seven. I'm five point oh, baby. Oh, that's po boys. Don't you hate it when you're so, so strong? Uh, you know why? You, you know can't I'm, even. You know why I'm that low? Why? Well, you, you don't, don't even take ha- no crap from nobody. Well, it, it started. Somebody left me a uh, 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 one star. Yeah, bad review on something, and it it and it was based off of a conversation that we were having um, on something completely separate, like. Uh, like let's say Fox Sports posted something about I don't know women's because I got an argument last week about women's soccer, so uh, <laughs> shocker. Uh, hey, no no arguing is over. It's 2023. I'm back on the train. Okay, so I'm I'm arguing however I want. Plus I'm stopped dipping, so I need an outlet for my aggression. So this guy was like, <laughs> "That's what I forgot. Let's get him fired up. He's got all the excuses. Hey, come on now, so, finish up. Well, now I forgot what I was gonna say." No, this dude, you got an argument with the guy, and then he went on Google to leave you a bad review. Yeah, but, I mean, we were it was on, you know, like, let's say women's soccer or something like that, and then he went in my profile, found out I was a business owner, and went to my business page and left me a bad review, and then got got a bunch of his friends to to leave him bad review. Well, then I found out that he owned a company, and so I just called a couple of friends, and then he, he actually took his uh, website down. So... <laughs> It's like, <laughs> that's well, a, I, was, I was thinking uh, some of Matt's friends probably went and burned his business down. I had, I had, <laughs> I had offers, yeah. but I was, it was just like, you know, so, so, but those reviews stayed. And so that's why it's like, that's why it's 4.8 is because yeah. I got into a, a, a argument over some stupid thing, so, yeah. something stupid that didn't even involve my business. So yeah. Yeah. Just people are, you know, whatever, but at least he had to shut his business page down. So. <laughs> I love it. And Admiral Pennant only has stars on Facebook. No Google star. No Google reviews no Google for reviews. you because you don't have an address or any anything. I can't find where to give. Leave oh, you like he got to find. Yeah, he's not going to put his home address on there. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't either. Yeah. So. Just look for the biggest house in Reno County. Not quite. By a long <laughs> shot, actually. Yeah. Well, anyway. All right. Uh, we all good? We all reviewed? What do you give this segment? Five stars? Hey, why don't hey. you go, uh, get on Google, leave us a, uh, uh, whatever. Yeah, that'd be great. Or so, Apple. why don't you just get on your Apple podcast. Right now, as you're listening. Just, as you're uh, listening, and, and give us a review, five-star review. Yeah. Whether you're on yeah. Spotify or Apple, throw us a review. And if you don't think we're five stars, then just don't go. Don't go there and do that. Yeah. just yeah. Or do, just, and we'll talk about you. Just turn us off right now. No, don't turn us off. Keep listening. Just don't go review. <laughs> Come on, We man. all have our own opinions. Come on, man. All right, uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, top three ways to spend your Labor Day. And then uh, Troy's going to, oh, Matt's going to close this out with a good word. At Admiral's Pennant, our mission is to offer the latest and refined high-quality masculine products and services to the modern gentleman, as well as provide him with the tools and products necessary to look, act, and feel confident in his appearance and social interactions. Check it out at admiralspennant.com. Without it, you might as well share and we're back. I knew you were going to do it. Yeah, I hesitated. Yeah, boy. I hesitated I so you could say it. Don't hesitate. I hesitate. Top three ways to spend your Labor Day. Matt Amos. Number three, mowing. <laughs> and not just any mowing. Food plots. Getting your deer plots ready. <laughs> it's that time, baby. Got to get them ready. Got to get them ready for them deer to come in and get killed. And put your bait out now before they ban it, boys. Hey, uh. Hey, corn prices. Insane. Worse than last year. Uh, yeah, what is it? Like uh, $12, 12 a bag. Yeah. Yep. It's ridiculous. Crazy. I planted a bunch of clover in the spring. Take it off. Did not turn what? out. It did take off and then it went away. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it made. I wonder if you all didn't get enough rain up there like we did down here. More than likely, that's what happened. But That's the only explanation. It, it just burn up. I planted four plots. And one of them didn't take right away. Three of them did. And then I was back there. They're going to come about a month ago. They'll come back. They better. They'll come back next spring. I put next spring. Yeah. I need them this fall. Well, uh, good luck. It's, it's probably not next spring. BS. It's probably not going to come back real great uh, in the fall, but spring it'll. Yeah. Cause I had uh, a couple of mine do that where I planted them and it's like, Oh man, I was going to tell them over I'll, and, and put some uh, rye grass or something. I, I there. thought about it. Cause I was like, it's a total loss. And then I just left it, didn't mess with it. And, uh, came back out that next spring and boom, it was just everywhere. All right. So, Mo for deer plots. Number three. 
Lamp number two, go camping. It's typically uh, a little warm, so if you're into the glamping, uh, I prefer that a little more than uh, sleeping in a tent these days. You lamp it up. It's too hot, but camping's a good way to spend Labor Day weekend. I always, uh, you know, I think we went a couple years down there with you or up there with you, and that that's always, that's a good time. Yeah. Especially if you have a camper and you can sleep in the AC yeah. and everybody yeah. else is. In a tent. I've done that. <laughs> Thank you. But you left your camper, so it was awesome. Yeah. And then uh, number one, you could spend the weekend uh, sleeping. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Binging Netflix or just sleeping? Uh, however you want to do it, but just relaxing. You know, however you see fit to relax just kind of unwind don't uh, don't really do anything major mm. just chill i like it yeah okay i guess so all I right like stop there it's good i'll go number three smoke some meat that's a good weekend what? to get some meat smoked I think any weekend's a good weekend to get some meat smoked. No, but. no. Sometimes you're just too busy to deal with it. No, you're not. Sometimes I am. You're, you're definitely not. But uh, that's a good, you know, hey, because it's, it's Monday. Like, Monday's a good holiday. You, get, you know, you get your weekend stuff done on the weekend. Then on Sunday, you're like, oh, let me trim up some pork butts and put some seasoning on here. Throw these jokers on the smoker. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good deal. Number two, dove hunt. Oh, yeah. opening oh, yeah. weekend. Opening weekend is the September 1st, so Labor Day is always an opportunity to go dove hunting. So go dove hunting, number two. Number one, camping. And that's a, a tradition that we've had since we started leasing up there in Morris County. And uh, we've enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I have been tugging on my wife's heartstrings to go and stay up there good luck you're missing you're missing uh a member yeah she's she's not a yeah i don't know if we've told this on this podcast before even if we have well we i have mean, some but, new listeners she well, almost died on the first time i ever took her camping like hellstones or something like softball size yeah. hail uh was coming right at us and well we had but is, the, is stone coming back down well he's already he's half heck, he's just 30 he's minutes right away. there right so yeah. he's coming yeah yeah so there's that there's um we, we have a nice facility there i got a, you know i put this i got this uh, portable water heater not that you need hot water currently in wichita but um yeah so so got this little uh, outdoor shower set up you know so, so you got you know air conditioning shower facility we, we're i mean you're, you're set up it's there's nothing that anybody could need you could Airbnb that thing, man. I, I think that like Better Homes and Gardens is gonna come out and do a spread because <laughs> it's we got uh, shiplap in there. I mean, dude, it's. I mean, aside from having uh, Starlink, you know, we're set. Like it's 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 pretty nice. So maybe maybe I'll be able to take her camping on the annual family camping trip for that. Maybe I'm not not holding my breath. Well, we're closer than we've ever been. Good luck. Yeah. Troy. Number three, grilling or smoking meat. All right. I put smoking meat on there for y'all because I just grill. I don't have a smoker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's still good. Yeah. Uh, two, go to the lake. We've gone to the lake with friends many a Labor Day. Still nice to get in, do a little tubing, some fishing. Labor Day is the weekend. I got to get away from the lake. Oh. I, I live there. It gets crowded real quick. Yeah. It's like, where are all these people? Number one, not laboring. Sleeping. Sleeping or relaxing. Yeah. Yeah. So not laboring. Yeah. Some similar top threes there. It's so cool. I have a question for you, Troy. Being a small business owner like you are, Matt, yeah. this applies to you too. Do you uh, observe holidays? Most of them. Yeah. So like, you're not gonna do any work. You're not coming up to the office. They're like, I'm. It's Labor Day. No, I'll, I'll stay at home yeah. on Labor Day. Yeah. Do you do Admiral's pennant stuff on Labor Day? If no. the orders are there. 
Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I uh, the but the post office doesn't pick up, so I mean, there's really no point. Yeah. And beard oil, there's nothing emergent about beard oil that can wait. Yeah, because I know for business owners, like sometimes you don't have the luxury of being able to take a day off when you want to. But you guys are pretty hard about the. Hey, it's, it's a holiday. Yeah, downtime. I don't need to. Yeah. Well, especially kids are out of school, that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, I take off Labor Day, Memorial Day. I take off uh, every oh. third uh, Wednesday. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> if it's cloudy out, uh, if it's too sunny. If, <laughs> I almost called because it was too traffic. hot. There's some traffic like, traffic issues you heard about and they don't need to come in. Oh, I, I actually did. I, I think I told you about that. Yeah. Uh, driving to work one day and the traffic was just like so bad. I just turned around and went home. I was like, <laughs> I'm, not doing this. I'm not doing it today. <laughs> Uh, this year I took off on my birthday for the first time ever. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I went and saw a movie. Okay. My wife talked me into it. Yeah. She's like, you haven't taken a day off since Christmas holidays. And even then you were only off like the 24th and 25th. Yeah. Like go treat yours. It's your birthday. You know, go treat yourself. Go see a movie or something. You get popcorn on an occasion like that. What's your what's your go to movie snack? That may be a good top three. Yeah. Movie snack, yeah. Movie snack, yeah. Write that down. Scooby snack. I do like popcorn, but I don't know. Since Warren sold, there's no good pop, no good theater popcorn in this city. As far as I'm, concerned. I don't think there's a good theater in this city. Not anymore. I like the AMC theater. AMC because of the seats sucks, but AMC sucks. I'm just gonna say it. It sucks. Everybody's like, oh, AMC. No, it's horrible. I like it. You got to go. You have your little uh, app or whatever, but you have to go like to a kiosk to buy your thing. You can't go talk to a person, but then your kiosk won't print tickets. Then you have to go talk to a person to print the ticket that you just bought through the kiosk. You don't have to print it. Just use your phone. No, I don't want AMC tracking my business. <laughs> so I'm, I want to just do commerce like a normal person. And you're like, oh, we don't want to interact with you. You have to go to the thing. And then you go to the thing and do the all the stuff, and they're like, well, you have to see an attendant to get your ticket printed. I'm like, well, this is the dumbest thing ever. And then we go inside, and there's a bunch of people goofing off through the whole movie, being loud, and AMC doesn't do anything about it. And so then you got to go over there and give Man. some people some knuckle sandwiches. Nobody <laughs> nobody signed up for that. Never happened to me at the Warren. It's a pretty good movie snack. Knuckle sandwich. A knuckle sandwich. A knuckle sandwich. I'm sorry, AMC. Anyway, I like it. Not laboring. That's a that's a good top three. You guys, if you haven't figured out what you're going to do on Labor Day, apparently you could just do nothing and then say that was your plan. Like I'm it's a good laboring. backup for sure. All right, Matt, you got a good word for us. I do. The good word of the day is proud. 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 Pride. Nope. Proud. Okay. I just want to give a shout out to three people that have no idea that I'm proud of them. Well, I know two of them. They ain't in this room. Ah, (laughs) I knew that coming. But on my drive to work almost every day, there's a lady and she's a bigger lady. But she is walking to work at the same time I'm going to work. Walking to work? Walking to work. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's raining. She's got her umbrella and she's walking. And it's funny because I've noticed this over like the past, you know, I don't know, five months or so. Yeah. And I, I, it's more so, I think she works at the school uh, because I see her more when school's in. Mm-hmm. Um, but she's, she's winning. She's getting, she's getting smaller. Yeah. Losing weight. And she has no idea, but I see her every day walking. I'm like, yeah, you go girl. I was like, good for you. Yeah. Keep it going. Nice job. Yeah. And then uh, there's uh, two two Marines that I personally served with that have battled um, drug addiction, um, alcoholism. Uh, some have been going, uh, some of one of the two, maybe both have gone to jail. I think both went to jail um, at some point, served mm-hmm. some time. Um, both of them um, just celebrated their own individual sobriety dates. Awesome. Um, being, uh, completely sober, not having any, you know, one now owns his own business, does, yeah. does construction. The other one, um, has a job and he's, he's, uh, gotten involved in, in giving back. And so, um, I've kind of watched that, that transition take place from where he was at the lowest. And it's like, bro, 
I'm, there's nothing more I can do for you. You're going to have to hit bottom and then you're going to have to dig yourself out because yeah. there's nothing more. You have to want it. I can't want it for yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. I yeah. can't, I can't, ex- that's perfect. I, I can't want it more than you do. Yeah. And, uh, so he, he finally got that realization and, and, uh, he's got a good girl by his side now or, or his, his wife s- stayed with him and they're back together. They've, uh, a, repaired their relationship yeah yeah and uh, that's awesome dude. yeah so i mean and i'm just super proud of those guys for for coming out of that and and uh, starting to do more productive and better things with their life and and uh kind of brings to uh uh to mind um i was talking to um a uh, a pastor this week and he asked me um if i would fill in uh occasionally if i was available to fill in on sunday on sunday mornings when churches needed a pastor. And I said, bro, I said, that's not my, that's not, (laughs) I said, I'm not, I am not a pastor at at all. And uh, he said, well, he goes, but well, what if you just get up there and share your story? And then, um, you know, maybe just relate that to a couple of Bible verses that that got you through. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so I got to think and I was like, well, I mean, this applies to me, uh, but it also applies to, uh, to these folks, um, that I'm, that I'm proud of that they don't know that I'm proud of them. And, uh, and that scripture is Joshua 1, 9. It says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. And uh, and so when I was when I was talking to the pastor, you know, it, he's like, uh, I was like, well, I'm not that guy. You know, I'm not a, uh, I'm not a preacher. I'm not the guy who gets up in the pulpit and, and, uh, and, and speaks. I go, that's a heck of a lot of responsibility. And he goes, well, you're not that guy yet. And I said, well... That's true. I said, you know, God chose to, to let me live for a reason. Um, yeah. So maybe, you know, this is one of those reasons. So I'll think about it and pray about it. And, and I said, in the meantime, I go, but if you, if you have somebody that just needs a, a speaker, I was like, let them know. I mean, cause I do do that. I said, but you know, Sunday morning, that's a completely different ball game. Right. And uh, so but anyway, so that's the, uh, that's the good word proud. Is, is, is proud. And that's uh, mainly related to the, uh, the three people that I just mentioned and, and uh, I might make that a continuing thing because I see a lot of people doing a lot of things and well, overcoming a lot of things, and I'm just secretly proud of them. Yeah, you're secret about a lot of that, just so you know. So it's kind of shocking to me that you're bringing it up. What do you mean? Well, people think you're this mean old cranky guy because you just are quiet and you just look <laughs> oh, mad just, all the time. I'm an introvert. I probably think things And people are shy. If you're like, man, I really think that, that that person inspires me. And they'd be like, holy cow. Like, Matt, inspired? They're proud. He's proud of somebody? crazy i could never meet that guy's expectations Mm -mm. it's it's tough i mean you can't be somebody i know obviously yeah it can be because i if i if i got to know that person there would probably be something like here's the deal the reason he didn't talk about us when he was talking about pride he was afraid of the tears he would not be able to hold back (laughs) the emotion yeah i don't think how proud he is of me and troy i don't think that that would be a problem okay well, thank you for tuning in to this wonderful 143rd episode of the Hard Headed Podcast. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for listening to the Hard Headed Podcast. Don't forget to share this podcast with others to help us get the word out. Also, if you haven't yet, please rate and review the show. This helps our podcast show up in other people's suggested shows that may or may not have listened to us before. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next week.